hi guys this is the lady level and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are watching this channel for the first time like comment subscribe and if you are returning to my youtube channel welcome back to my youtube channel so the title of this video is my top five places in dalian firstly let me say that i am celebrating my fourth year of living in dalian this year and i decided that maybe it's time i share with you my top five places to visit in dalian so let's start with the number five Number five, I am going to give it to Linghai Ski Resort. So this place, guys, if you are into skiing, you can go to this place. It's uh, it, it is called Linghai Ski Resort. So I think if you punch on your daily Linghai Ski Resort, you can find it. So I was introduced to this place in 20, 20, 2020. When I first went there with my friends, I didn't try to do any activities, guys. I was too scared to fall and to get my ribs and bones break broken. But last year, I conquered my fears and I I tried to ski. It was not successful. But at the same time, I enjoyed the views surrounding that area. And uh, another thing is that that area, it's in the mountains. So I was able to enjoy like um the surrounding area number four it i'm gonna give it to hoopa one seaside views this place guys beautiful i love it i love to go to that area and just get to enjoy the side the the seaside views around that area i'm gonna talk a little bit more about this area because my number one it goes to like an uh it goes to like a place around that area so this place in winter chinese people like to swim and um, they i don't know why they like to swim in sw in winter especially old people but for me in summer i just like to go chill there reflect relax and the sunset it's beautiful that side there isn't a lot of people it's quiet you can enjoy it you would love this place if you haven't been there the only disadvantage about this place is that it, it is it is outside um, Dongshan because it's in the mountains so <clears throat> there isn't a lot of things surrounding that area it's just like outside Dongshan and um, if you want to take a bus to that place I don't know how you can do it I only know that you can take a DD to that place if you type Upo one on your DD address it will take you straight to that place so this place goes to number four it's beautiful i love the views the area it's amazing it's given if you like some chilled vibes go to that area you would have some nice time your your me time it's guys it's beautiful like you can even see on these clips that i'm showing you that this place is really nice so let's go to number three number three i will give it to shanghai square so a lot of people know Shanghai Square in Dalian. Um, it's a very famous place. Um, it's very nice. It has restaurants. There's a beach side. Um, there's activities such as like um, uh, boat riding. There's just a lot of stuff going on in that place. And then they usually have this um, water fountains show that usually takes place. I don't know when during the day during the week but i think it's on monday and fridays i forgot guys but i know that these um shows take place around eight o'clock at night at shanghai square it's nice it's beautiful i love it it's giving guys um i usually just like to take a walk with my friend um to go for like ice cream dates and there is a restaurant called Lenbach, they will usually go there to have our dinner. Um, if you haven't checked out this place, do check it out. If you are not in Dalian and you are cons considering coming to Dalian, you can just ask anyone about Shanghai Square. And yeah, they will lead you to that place. It's nice, beautiful, guys. You will get to see it yourself when you go there. If you have been there before, wonderful, guys. So let's go to number two. 
Number two, I'm going to give it to Little Venice. Little Venice, it's amazing, 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 amazing. So it is, it was inspired. I don't know if I should use the word inspired. So the buildings there, they're like um, uh, European style, which is, which makes it unique. The buildings that side are like more um, in European styles than the rest of the buildings in China. Again, this place is also nice if you like sea views. Another place to go there. It's beautiful. It's given. I've been there. I love it. Beautiful, guys. I love it. And they have these boats things that you can ride on, like in Little Venice in, in Italy. They have the same thing there. So you can actually go there with your partner, your friends. You can, there's like a uh, beautiful spots as well to take pictures and all of that. So you can do that if you haven't been to Little Venice. So I love Little Venice. It's given. It's beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's move to number one. Number one, I'm giving it to Hooper One, guys. Remember number four, I said it's Hooper One Seaside Views. So I'm giving to this place, um, Hooper One, just surrounding and the coffee shops around that area amazing guys i personally like like some quiet places sometimes so i like to go there in the morning sometimes and go back home late in the afternoon i go there for my breakfast and my lunch i show there i enjoy the views i just relax there isn't a lot of people it's not noisy it's quiet it's nice the area itself is also nice <clears throat> so i like this place this place is the best 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 place that i've been here in dalian i just love it guys thank you guys for watching this video this is the end of this video i don't want to make it long enjoy your evening and yeah i'll see you guys next time